the original vision for our, our world here was to take a virtual environment and really give it some purpose and some structure so people weren't just wandering around aimlessly. And the original notion was to use the model of geocaching, which is essentially a world, worldwide scavenger hunt where people deposit items around the world and then upload the GPS coordinates to an online community. Uh, visually, the concept which emerged was to use a Picasso theme because of the geometric shapes that work well in the digital environment which we were, we were working in. Picasso's paintings were our inspiration, especially the Guernica. What he would do is he would merge different perspectives into a 2D surface, in effect creating simple shapes we could all work with. I had to imagine Picasso's paintings in three dimensions so that our modelers could build them in 3D Max. There was a book which I read as a child called The Eleventh Hour, which was essentially a mystery story uh, written in rhyme, and there were clues throughout the book, and you had to use these clues to figure out who stole this banquet uh, at the end of the story. I won't tell you who it was, but it's the least, uh, the smallest animal of the bunch. So using that idea of rhyming clues in a mystery, I developed the concept of creating rhyming clues for items in Picasso paintings which users could find and then collect these different items. And ultimately, once the world became networked and multiplayer, other people could identify items which could be found and write their own clues for the paintings and really build a community around this notion of hunting and gathering of items in Picasso paintings. calling them little towns, but it's basically just like there'd be a shack and some other decorations around it. So when you're walking around, you're like, oh, there's stuff over there, and then you walk over to it and there's a painting, right? And so then if I get the four other items, we'll just place them somewhere on the world and not necessarily next to their paintings. And then we'll just make it so when you run into the item, it says that you found the item, instead of the painting saying that you found the item, because that doesn't make much sense right now. And then we get the audio in and the music in, and then we'll be like, whoa, it kind of works, all right, good, game over. My role in Team Picasso Pi was to create low-poly models for use in our virtual world. I worked in close collaboration with the entire team, but in particular with Salvia, who is responsible for texturing and the overall artistic look of the world. All models were created using 3ds Max and exported as OBJ files. <laughs> for the world itself that if you zoom out far enough you will see a painting wrapped around our 3D globe. Um, we also use uh, paintings such as a uh, woman in a watch, um, musicians and a dog, and a couple other ones as just guidelines. Um, we took buildings and the way that we saw buildings portrayed uh, and Steve was able to model representations of those buildings uh, for up to input into our 3D world. Good. Yeah? How good? Uh, pretty much. Really good? Or not? Okay. We need for Seth Scott to make some changes. So, as like a technical support for Seth and for other guys to load in their textures, models, as well as background sounds. Mm -hmm. 